Good morning guys, welcome to the vlog. Um, I'm testing out my new camera today. Not that it's like a new one, it's like my old vlogging camera, like the Canon G7X. Um, I have had for the longest time this giant new camera with this giant tripod. That's normally what I film on. But I had decided, or I decided that since we're back in Miami and like since I hope to like go out in public more and like vlog and like go on like little trips and stuff like I wanted to be able to bring my camera more often with me but like when I'm out and about like I cannot take this monstrosity with me which is one of the reasons why it's like hard for me to film out in public these days so anyway long story short today's vlog I'm gonna film on my Canon but I do still need to like work out the settings and stuff why are you mad? This is this is Jackson. He's handing me a car, and what do you want me to do with it? You want me to take off the rope that you put here? Yeah. That's so nice. All right, so I gotta take off the rope off this car. Today's Saturday, by the way. Tomorrow is uh, Mother's Day, so Happy Mother's Day to you guys. I'm not sure that I'm gonna film tomorrow, but Happy Mother's Day to all of you guys. It'll be belated, but I hope that you guys had a wonderful day. We're also getting ready today to go to my cousin's house or my uncle's house because my cousin got into the military. I think it's the army, but he like graduated and like they're doing like a little celebration party for him. So really, Jackson, I'm kind of filming here. You want to say hi to the guys? Look, look over there and say hi, hi guys. guys. <laughs> here, Ooh. okay, here's your car. What do you want me to do now? Put the string on this one? Yeah. Okay, bye. bye. See you later. So yeah, I'm happy because we're gonna get to see like a bunch of family and friends that like we haven't seen in a very long time. So I wanna do a couple things before we leave. I wanna show you guys some of the stuff that I got for myself and for my mom for Mother's Day. So we'll do a little Target haul. But before I do that and before I forget, um, Joe this morning went and got me my Mother's Day flowers. So I want to show you them. How pretty are these flowers? I'm really excited because these were made by my friend. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I'm always showing her page because she just started like a flower business and she makes arrangements and stuff. So she was making some for Mother's Day and I was like, can you please go <laughs> and buy me some flowers from there? But how beautiful are they? She did like a really good job. So I'm always like happy to shout her out. I'll have her Instagram in the description box if you guys happen to be local in Miami, but she's been doing a bunch of stuff. She obviously took orders for Mother's Day, but she's been doing like uh, like graduation bouquets and she's been doing uh, like prom things and like pretty much any occasion that you need flowers for, um, she can put together something. So her stuff is beautiful and I'm always <laughs> super happy to share them with you guys. All right, so let's see what I can show you guys. I got Mimi some stuff, so if you need some ideas for like Mother's Day or I don't know, stuff for yourself or I don't know, if you had, if you got a gift card for Mother's Day and you wanna buy yourself something, this is what I got Mimi. I got her this beautiful bag. There's stuff in here, but look how pretty this like beach bag is. I thought it was, really pretty so i don't know if she'll use it as a beach bag because she doesn't really go to the beach all that often even though i'm determined to change that because the kids have been dying to go to the beach but it was super pretty so i got her this bag and then in here i threw everything else in riley picked out a couple of the things in here this is like a gag gift this is like a joke because my mom never has forks in her house so we got her a fork and then i got her chocolates that i thought she would like she's into like the lily's chocolate this riley picked out I don't even know if it's that good, but Riley was like, I think Mimi would like this. So this is like Riley's gift to Mimi. And then I got her this, which is exactly the same thing that's on my lips. I got them both yesterday, one for her, one for me. And it is super nice. This is what it looks like, but it's in the shade Big Apple. And it's like a really pretty lip stain. I've been trying to find some stuff to put on my lips and obviously the coloring right here, right the second, it's not gonna be the best, but some stuff to put on my lips that's not um, like really sticky and stuff. So I, I th thought that this one was really pretty. So I'm glad that that worked out. Then I got her um, this PJ. He's like into like the PJ shorts. So I got her this one. So these are the shorts and then the matching top so she has like a nice little pj i'm gonna go ahead and buy myself a bunch of pjs before this baby comes because i had been wearing you guys i've been wearing the same exact pj um 
for like ever since I think I had Riley. Like ever since I gave birth to Riley or Jackson or both of them, I've been wearing the same PJs to the point where they had a huge hole in my butt and I couldn't even like vlog when I was wearing them anymore because legit a hole in my butt. So I did take advantage and get myself, I got myself one pair that I'll show you, but I need to get like a couple more because that's all that I'm basically gonna live in when the baby comes. But yeah, I got her that and then I got her a gift card so she could go to Ulta because she said she wanted to get a couple things from Ulta. And then we got her a card. And then like for my grandparents, these are my favorite things in the history of the world. Tell me how many of you guys love these, the Ferrero Rochers. That is like one of my all time favorite candies. I have memories of like my grandparents giving them to me for like special occasions. So now whenever it's like Mother's Day, I get my grandma some of those. She loves them. And then yes, I have like a whole bunch of clothes here. Some of it is like new stuff. Some of it is stuff that I have to put away. But one of the things that I got myself was this romper because it fits the belly super nice. And I had it in blue. I had it in like another color. And then I went yesterday and I bought it in this color because it's one of the most comfortable things. Like this whole top area is stretchy and it just, it's very comfortable. So if you're pregnant, I highly recommend it. It's from the maternity section, but I'll link it down below with everything else I show you. I also got myself a new robe and I'm not sure how well I'm gonna be able to show you guys the robe. But I got myself a new robe because the robe I've had for the longest time is like that really fuzzy, like furry robe. But now that I'm in Miami when it's not like that cold all the time, I wanted to get one that was like a little bit thinner that I'd be able to wear more often. So this is the one that I got. You'll see me wearing this one a ton. And it's still kind of like furry material, but not like the same. Like I'm sure you guys remember like the one that I always wear. This one was great for Virginia, but it was like really, really heavy and thick. So this one is a lot better for Miami. I also, like random things, got myself some of my deodorant that I like. This was that other thing that I showed you. And then I restocked my um, ColourPop foundation. Like this is one of my favorite foundations. It's like $16 and I get it in the shade Light 45W. You're probably not gonna be able to see it. But that's the foundation that I have on today and I've used it a ton. I've probably, yes, right, it's here. I've probably like repurchased that bottle like three different times and I find it to be a pretty good foundation. All right, these shorts I got, and they are one of my favorite things that I own. Um, they're in an extra large, they're not maternity, but they're from the Colsey brand, and I just got them like super big in an extra large. When I tell you that I haven't taken them off, like other than to, to get dressed right now, like I haven't taken them off. They are so comfy and stretchy. The material feels super nice. Um, but I can't model them for you because they're legit like booty shorts like my butt cheeks hang out of these But they feel really nice like on the belly and they they're just really good I needed some shorts because I've been living in just like leggings like I have one or two pairs of maternity leggings And like it's hot. So let me show you the biker shorts that I got at Target Okay, so this doesn't necessarily go together and again, I'm sorry that I don't have a better mirror in this house I don't have a full-length mirror but I got these two pieces. So I got this like little sports bra. It's kind of cute because it's got like a weird like cutout in the sleeves. I thought it was different and it's just very comfy. And then these were the maternity biker shorts that I got. And these are from like that Isabel maternity line. So I don't know how well you can see because it's black and it's just like hard. But like all of this is like that like that like kind of band material it's like one big band and then all of this has like little lines going up and down trust me when i tell you like they are comfortable and i think i got mine i'll put my sizes down below but i got these in a medium and they fit me perfectly at this point at tomorrow we will be 29 weeks so pretty far along in the game but I just, I needed some shorts that not only can I, I can wear this like around the house, like I can wear like a sports bra or whatever, or a tank with the biker shorts. But like if I'm going out to run errands, I can just throw like a, one of my big t-shirts over this. And then I'm not just stuck wearing leggings. The shorts themselves are a pretty good length. So I don't feel like they're booty shorts like the green ones are. And then this, you guys, is literally like something that I have never purchased before. You will never see me wear something like this other than when I am pregnant. But like I keep saying, I'm running out of things that will actually fit me. This I would never wear out in public unless I had like a shirt thrown on, like one of those long sleeve shirts I would like cover more area. But to be home with the kids, 
I will absolutely wear it. It's like one of those like onesie things and it's not maternity, but it's in an extra large. So it definitely expands. I got the white sports bra also from Target so that I could just like be covered up a little bit more. But you guys, it is just really comfy and stretchy. They also have it in like a tan color. If you're not like into the blue, I still don't really know how I feel about the blue, but I was like, let me just get something a little different. But it is just really, really, really comfortable. And then this right here, this is like the one PJ that I got. So I just got a bigger size in the shirt this isn't like maternity and then a bigger size in the pants can't probably see like all the way to the bottom but they're kind of like jogger style and they are very comfy so now at least i have like a pj that doesn't have holes and that's just like really nice and comfy to lounge in but i need to get like a couple more so if there's anywhere other than target where you guys get like just cozy pjs and that aren't like 50 dollars <laughs> Please let me know. So yeah, that's just a couple of the things that I've been just trying to get for myself. I've been trying to go little by little, getting a few things. I still need to get a few more things from Amazon that I told you guys I wanted to do a haul for like some maternity clothes. I feel like a video like that would be helpful because like this Target stuff that I got, it's like pretty seasonal. Like they'll have new stuff in a few months. But for the most part, when you buy stuff on Amazon, like a lot of it, they keep on stock like for a while. So I've been thinking about just like doing a video like that so that people can then like find it on YouTube and maybe like six months from now can still find that helpful. But something else that's exciting is that I just got back our photos that we took the other day. I think I told you guys that we took like some motherhood, like Mother's Day photos. So I picked out my like images that I wanted to have like the digital files of. Um, I picked them out yesterday. They just got ready for downloads. Let me show you. Look how stinking cute these are. <laughs> the kids came out so cute. Like the kids like never <laughs> will both be looking and stuff. So it was just really nice that we have some now that we can frame and put up in the new house. They came out really good. So this was like the best like Mother's Day gift. Look at that. Like I freaking love this. This is so cute. So I'm thinking that I might download them and then order some um, from CVS and like go print them out. And maybe like the one of both of the kids I can give to my mom and to like my grandparents because I'm sure that the, you know they would like to put those in their house. So stinking cute. If you're in the Miami area, I will also try to um, remember to like include the girl that I used her Instagram handle, whatever, so you can check her out. But like this session I paid for. So she had offered um, for in the future, like when the baby comes, like to do like a free like lifestyle shoot, like when the baby comes, like of the whole family. And I was like, that is perfect. I would of course love that. But I was like, let me just like book her first and like book her and like pay her to do the Mother's Day photos. And I think she did a really great job and she was super nice and she was just very local. It was just easy to get to her. She has like a studio in her house and I really liked her. It was a very good experience. So that for me again is just the perfect Mother's Day gift. I think I'm gonna make that a tradition from now on. <laughs> like, cause Joe never knows what to get me. And like, I'm not like a big like, oh, here's a gift that I want you to get me. Usually like, I'll just save up for it and buy it myself. But Joe doesn't really like taking pictures. So I feel like that would be the perfect like Mother's Day occasion kind of gift where it's like every year, we're gonna do some family photos and it's a gift to me and I know it's a sacrifice for you, but it will make my heart very, very happy. Well, who are you looking for? Your daughter? Is she in the bedroom? When you got dressed? Find her. Is she in here? You found your daughter? Let me see her. Wow, she just looks so beautiful. You know you're supposed to like keep eyes on your daughter. You're not supposed to lose her, okay? Yep. Yep. But you know <laughs> what? Jackson made me spill my crumbs on the floor. Uh-oh. Did you spill her crumbs on the floor? Yeah. <laughs> Jackson looks so cute with his little boat shoes. Jackson, what did you have there? What was there? It was cinnamon roll. Cinnamon roll? Okay, give that to Dad or throw it away. Yesterday at Target, we got the kids an alarm clock or like a digital clock so that they can like read the time so that Riley obviously can learn how to be reading the time. We had been having an issue with the kids waking up super early. Like the other day they woke up at 6.45 and I was like, that's not gonna be happening on the regular. So we thought that maybe by having a clock in their room, they can actually like start picking up on like, if it's before 7.45 or before a certain time, you can't leave your room. I know we could do the same thing with like the hatch and like the colors and we've done that before where we've programmed Riley's hatch to um, 
Like you can't leave your room until the birds chirp. Since she's learning how to tell time and stuff in school, either way, thought it would be like a good skill for her to know. All right, so we are first on a little mission. We are stopping at Publix because we're gonna go surprise my grandparents with like just some groceries and like surprise them with some of like the treats and stuff that they like to eat but that normally they don't like buy for themselves because my grandparents are on a pretty tight budget so we're we just thought like it would be something nice to do for them so we're gonna go see what we can go find at Publix all right what are we gonna get at Publix all right let's go Yay! You got an apple? What did you get? Apple. Nice. Hey, is Blue Bear here? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we were able to find most of what we were looking for. Publix is packed, of course, because it's the day before Mother's Day. So everyone is doing the same exact thing. That's how the stores were yesterday. And now we'll get to go swing by my grandparents. We're going to be very, very happy. look at my plants we had a really good time at my uncle's house the kids had a good time they got to play with a bunch of other kids but um yeah we came to Mimi's house and I'm looking at all of my plants over here trying to water them they're looking a little sad spoiler alert let me show you so these were the plants that I had planted the other day remember when I did like all the seeds starting um some of them like they've definitely grown some of them but I feel like um some of them like the heat is kind of killing them so I'm gonna put them in the shade more to see if that'll help but i do think that this row is watermelon so it's looking like we have one that's looking really good and then i came to my mom's house the other day and up potted some of the green beans so like this is green beans this is green beans they were the ones that were here but i needed to put them in like bigger pots so maybe we can like make them happier again because they're looking a little sad so it's cilantro cilantro is looking not the greatest basil see like this is what the heat does to the plants so i'm trying to do my best to like keep them in the best position for them to survive this is strawberries so i went ahead and watered my strawberry plant but here this is usually like where the flower comes you probably can't even see this but they are dying from the heat so i don't know what to do really about that this looks so like one little tomato can you see that this was a tomato plant that I bought at Home Depot and that does look like one little tomato so that might actually have a little bit of hope for it and then when we were at my cousin's house or my uncle's house whatever he has a bunch of plants over there and so he gave us some cuttings of what is this uh, passion fruit so he gave us some cuttings from his plant we're gonna leave them here in this jar to see if they'll grow roots and then I can take it and plant it so that would be the goal it's obviously like a lot harder to care for plants when I'm not here to watch them all the time like once we get them into the new house then I'll be able to keep an eye on them daily and move them around when I need to but for now I just have to rely on my brother and my dad and stuff like watering them but hopefully we don't lose them all. Okay, so we are back home. It is much later. It's actually like 10 o'clock at night. We got home pretty late. So we stayed at my mom's house um, for a bit. We had dinner and then I had to like lay with the kids for a while before they fell asleep. But it was a very nice day. It was really nice to like go to my uncle's house and like see a lot of our family that we hadn't seen in a while. It's crazy <laughs> because I don't know if this has happened to you guys before where it's like you go to a family function where like you see people you haven't seen like in a really long time and like there were so many people at my uncle's house that like i remember them being like tiny little babies and like now they're in college and i'm like what the heck when did i get old like i remember being like 
you know, like the kid at the family functions and then now I'm like, you know, an adult. I have two kids. I have another one here. Like, it's just crazy. Like, it just makes you feel like where does, like, where has the time gone? Which is like totally like an old lady thing to say. But that's definitely how I felt today. But it was just really nice. It was so funny because Riley and Jackson, they were hanging out with like a bunch of the kids there. Like there were the kids that were like in college, but then there were also like little kids, like the next generation of little tiny people. And they hit it off with a bunch of the little kids there. And so Jackson, my uncle gave him like a new toy car because my uncle was like into cars and stuff. So Jackson obviously loved it. He spent the entire party <laughs> try to show off his car to like all the girls that would pay attention and it was just the funniest thing because he was like lifting up the the hood of the car to show the girls the engine and i'm like what the heck you're trying to like flirt with the girls by showing them your cars so it was just really funny and then riley was sitting next to like a nine-year-old girl like having a full-blown conversation like about their lives and then they started exchanging like animal facts they were talking about shark facts it was just funny to watch them interact so i'm glad that you know we had some interaction today with adults but also that the kids got to do some of that social stuff that is good for them to do but i'm finally just gonna go ahead and wash up and get ready for bed because i am tired tomorrow we're gonna go to church and then go back to mimi's house and see my grandma's and you know just have like a very chill mother's day i'm trying to figure out like where i can put my camera you guys <laughs> since i don't have it on a tripod and this is not the most flattering angle but i got a couple more packages um for stuff for my mom so this one came in today like the doTERRA blend this is like one of the essential oils that she asked for for mother's day so i'm going to put this in her bag um this one is breathe and i don't know whatever it's like one of her favorite essential oils then she also had asked for a phone case so i got her this phone case from a company called flaunt i had never heard of it before but she picked this one out so i might actually save this one for her birthday her birthday is next weekend so even if she sees this video which i doubt that she's even watching this these days like she doesn't even have time to watch my vlogs but she picked this out so she knows that she's getting this anyway but for her birthday i'll give her her phone case and then i bought myself one of these like corny like everybody has them like the headband so that when you wash your face like all of your hair doesn't get in the way super corny right but it's like it's kind of cute like i can dig it like that way i can just like wash my face at night and not have my hair in the way it's like one of those like very basic things <laughs> that everybody has but you know what this is gonna make my heart happy at the end of a very long day when i go to take off my makeup so I think I'm going to keep it. It was only like $7 or something like that. But anyway, thank you guys so much for hanging out in today's vlog. And I'll probably vlog again this week. But this week we have a busy week. And we're actually going to be, um, hopefully, God willing, everything goes okay. We're going to be finalizing our house. So very soon I'll get to like share details with you guys and talk to you guys about what's going on. But we have like a pretty exciting week ahead of us. But I'll talk to you guys more about that when I can. But Thank you again for hanging out and just for spending like a Saturday with us. Again, happy Mother's Day to those of you guys who are watching this video. I hope you guys had a great day with your families. And that is it. I love your faces. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.